Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to set up my brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 for the first time. I just got this and I just turned it on as you can see. Now I do have multiple Fold 3 devices. One of them is simply for business purposes, while the other, this one, will be my personal Fold 3. In this video, I will transfer data from my S21 Ultra to the Fold 3. Now this switch to Fold 3 may or may not be permanent. There will be an update video soon. But in today's video, I will set up my Fold 3 for the first time, step by step, and you can watch it if you so desire. Let's dive in. All right, so let's start the process. So I'm going to transfer all my contacts, my apps, and certain settings from this phone to this phone. So the first thing you want to do is you want to tap on Start. Once you tap on Start, you want to agree to all the options. I'm going to disable anything that it says Optional. I'm going to say Next. And then, of course, it wants me to connect to a Wi-Fi network, which I'm going to do right now. So let me connect to my 5G network here. Just dumped in the password. I'm going to tap on connect. Now before I tap on connect, on the top here, I don't like this keyboard. So I'm going to click this button and that's going to give me the full keyboard. So I'm going to tap on connect. All right. It makes it easier to type. So that's connected. I'm going to tap on next. And here's going to be the big thing. After checking for updates and getting the phone ready, this is the screen that's very important. Normally I skip this, but in this video, I'm actually going to transfer information from this phone to this phone. So instead of saying don't copy and set a brand new device, I'm gonna tap on next. And it's asking me, do you wanna use your old device to transfer data? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, I'm gonna tap on next, I mean. All right, and now it's gonna update the smart switch function, the app, which allows you to make this transfer possible. And after it updates, it's asking me, do you have an iPhone, iPad? Or do you have a Galaxy Android? So I have a Galaxy device, which is this guy right here. I'm going to tap on Agree to the Terms. Okay. Now I can either do this via a cable or wirelessly. Using a cable is going to make this process faster. So I can use a USB-C to USB-C cable, plug one in here and one in here. That's just going to make it faster. But if you don't have access to a cable, which is unlikely because this one comes with that cable, uh, you can tap on wireless or if you just don't want to deal with cables tap on wireless no big deal now it's looking for nearby devices all right it's going to detect my phone right over here but before it can do that i do have to launch smart switch on this phone so i'm going to tap here i'm going to say smart it shows up right there smart switch i'm going to tap on it as soon as i do that i can tap on send data and I'm going to tap on wireless and look at what's going to happen. They're going to actually detect each other. So it says connecting to the old device to bring your data. I'm going to say allow connection. All righty. Now what it's doing is it's scanning this phone to see, I'm going to swipe up what's in there that can be transferred over. And here's where the magic is. So basically we have everything listed right here. My accounts, my Samsung accounts, my Google accounts. I'm going to switch all those over from this phone to this phone to make it easy. Here's my calls and contacts. If you don't want to transfer something, you just uncheck it, okay? So I'm going to transfer all my messages. Now I'm going to transfer, I'm not going to transfer my settings. I'm going to set the settings myself here, uh, but I do want to replicate my home screen, okay? And that's this thing right here. I'm going to replicate that right here just to make it easy on myself. Let me go back into Smart Switch by tapping on this button. So we're in the same screen. So Secure Folder can be transferred over to. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I do not want to transfer any images or videos. But the point is, you can do that. And when you click this guy, and when you tap on this arrow, you can go inside and you can select individual videos that you want to transfer over or not. So that's all up to you. You can transfer anything you want. You can transfer your albums, as you can see. You can transfer, uncheck and check individual videos. So you can customize this. Same thing with the images. If I go to my images and if I tap on the arrow, I can pick certain images to be transferred over. Now, I don't want to do that, but I do want to uh, actually transfer apps, but not all of them. So I'll tap this arrow here. Uh, the calendar application, fine. WhatsApp, that's fine. The internet, the clock application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'm going to uncheck. Let me see if I can 
tap over here and say data size. So these applications here, the big games, I'm not going to transfer these. I don't use them anyway, just test them out. Uh, but anything that's humongous, I am going to uncheck that. And as I uncheck it, you can see on the top the size is getting reduced. So that's going to make sure the transfer dones, uh, gets done even faster. But I do want to quickly show you one more thing here you can use, you can use tap on this one and that's going to give you all the recently used applications. So that kind of makes sense. So probably the applications all the way at the bottom uh, I barely use, but the ones on the top I use all the time. So I can start by transferring the ones that I know that I use all the time, all right? And certain applications like the Samsung Health application, which is a stock application, also allows you to transfer your profile and your health data over. Just so you know, so some applications are going to have, they can, for example, the clock application can transfer alarm, world clocks, timers, and everything that you have set on this side is going to come right there. All right, so I've selected everything I'm going to transfer over one by one from top to bottom and the total is going to be 6.70 gigabytes. So tap on transfer and it's going to start the process. All right. Copy to your new device, your Google accounts and other accounts. Yes. Tap on copy. Uh, put in my uh, passcode or my fingerprint. That's going to authorize this. It's going to get dumped right over here. That's fantastic. It's going to be super easy. So all the data is now coming up. It says check your Galaxy phone to select content. Okay, we're good. So the transfer process has been started. The accounts that I want to transfer over have been added as well. So I'm going to tap on next now. Uh, it's getting some Google account information that I just transferred over. Then it's going to ask me to configure all those things. At this point, I can take this guy and I can put it away. No big deal. Not that too far because it's still transferring, but I can take it off the screen. I'm going to tap on accept. Now, do you want to set a PIN number? Yes, I'm going to set a PIN number for my phone. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make it something simple. All right. I'm going to change it later to something more secure. And then it says getting your phone ready. Now, this smart switch process makes things so much easy. Everything is being transferred over. Here's my Samsung account. I'm going to log right in. So make sure you don't check anything that's optional. So all these are optional. Why would you want to pick them? They're just a bunch of marketing and special offers. Forget it. Tap on more and tap on agree. So we're now logging in. Now that's very important because the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, you want to read all these very carefully. Okay. It makes sure you know how to properly handle this phone. It's not as durable as other smartphones. It's not as uh, durable, for example, as a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra because we don't have a Gorilla Glass 7 screen. So you want to read all these guys here and then you want to click next. And then you're all set up. I am all set up. I'm going to tap on finish. Uh, it's going to dump me to the home screen, but I will let you know when you do it for the first time, everything hasn't transferred over yet. So when I pull this down, you'll see it's still transferring data from my old phone and also it is completing setup. But I want to make sure everything is uh, complete before I start to play with the phone. All right. But we can set up a couple things, some basic things. So while you're here, while that's happening in the background, I'm going to go to my settings. The first thing I like to do is I like to go all the way down. I like to go to my about phone and I like to tap on edit right here and give my phone a unique name. So I like to do something like this. Saki. Fold 3. Okay, so that's much more custom. And when I connect to other devices, it's going to be easy for me to recognize that it's this product. Tap on Done. So that's the new name. Other thing I like to do, you see that I have my navigation buttons at the bottom. I like to keep those. I don't like it this way, though. So I'm going to change them so they're spread across the screen. So again, I'll go to my settings. I'm going to go to my display. I'm going to go down. Uh, right here, navigation bar, and I'm going to say button position center. Now I have it like this. And also, I like to tap on this here so my back button is right here. It feels more natural. Recent button is right here. Meanwhile, my home screen is still setting itself up. 
and you can see that the data transfer is complete. So all the data has been transferred over. You got a status report right there. That's great. The phone still is doing some setups in the process in the background, so that's fine as well. I do want to show you one more thing, and after that, we can call this video quits. Uh, you do want to make sure you go to your members application, okay? It's pre-installed with all these phones. You go inside. That is launching, as you can see. And tap later right here. And you want to go to get help. You want to tap on diagnostics. Click on start. And just tap on the battery status. And make sure it is normal and the life is good. And it says batteries working normally. Very important for your brand new phone. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a link to a video that allows you to set up the first 50 things on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold if you just bought it so you can watch that video for further tips and tricks and some hidden features. But in this video, I just want to get dumped in here and make a couple of modifications, but show you the full transfer process. Let me just disable adaptive brightness and make this in the middle. Motion smoothness is going to be adaptive. All right. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?